The frankincense tree, the cucumber tree, and the desert rose all are part of Socotra's secret. They have been used for years by the locals for their medical or cosmetic properties. But the island mainly owes its immense popularity to this plant, the dragon's blood tree, so named because of the drops of red sap which ooze out when it's cut. This is one of the most bizarre trees in the world. It's an iconic plant for the Socotrans who are worried the dragon's blood tree may one day disappear from the island. They've seen over the last few years a sharp decline in the numbers of the tree and one of the explanations to this is climate change. In an attempt to preserve the most endangered species, saplings and seeds are being gathered and cultivated in a nursery. Growing the dragon's blood tree here is seen as a miracle. It usually takes centuries to fully blossom. I have carried out studies about the dragon's blood tree and the possible impact of climate change on its distribution or regeneration. I found that the tree is regenerating in the areas where moisture is high. Surveys conducted by climatologists have indicated a significant reduction in mist and cloud cover over the island, which is proving harmful to the germination of the dragon's blood seeds. In areas where air moisture levels are low, you only find old forests, but no signs of regenerating flora. A team of Italian scientific experts are assessing the impact of climate change. We hope it will remain like this. It's been like this for millions of years, and the value is that in this island, like in other islands, uh, oceanic islands of the world, there exist species of plants and of animals that exist only in this place. If they are lost here, they are lost forever. But protecting Socotra's primeval plant life isn't an easy task. The islands belong to Yemen, and given its many political and economic problems, conservation is hardly a top priority. So for the present at least, Responsibility for the island's treasures will rest mainly with international aid agencies and appeals from worried scientists. Hashim Al-Jazeera, Socotra.